But God bless them here by a lot of prayers and, 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 and a lot of luck. You heard. 50, remember that whole situation? I was around for that. Yeah, um, 50 had a, 50 was, they, they had their own thing. A lot of, the city, I remember, was, the I remember, city was different at that time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, 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 don't try to speed through. Don't try to speed through. Oh boy! Don't try. All right, here you go. Touch your mom. All right, I let you finish. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Do, do you feel like I? I <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna ask because you're my man. So. That's right. Uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> dice, my business, man. Don't do that to me, Dice. Do you think that? So, at the whole time, like Fifty tried to do a chess move. Right, but you know the whole thing with him and Cam, and at the time, you know, because remember Cam called up and that whole situation. And he was saying all these things. Do you think that that could have led to any, like you think Killer was mad at that? Because you ain't say nothing at that time. At the time, you ain't say nothing. When Fifty did a Cam, he's gone. Not now he's going with when he's Curtis. You ain't say nothing. And he was like Jimmy's the and all that. You ain't say nothing. We was on you. We was watching you. We was waiting. You ain't say nothing. Now, I don't know why you didn't at that time. I know now you don't care. You took it. But do you feel like it was a chess move on his part? Because you ain't say nothing. Do you feel like everything happened in perspective? Because, you know, after that, killer just. Nah, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a chess move. Like, I'm looking at a perspective. 50 said something about Koch. And Cam took offense to that. And at that time, I was riding regardless. So, me not saying nothing mean I'm ready to go. You heard? If I say something, I... I, I but you still had ball in our cop. You had a voice. You didn't say nothing. Yeah, because you're not listening to me because okay. I was ready to go. I was still capo, bro. I was ready to go. So you got to watch what you say out here. I'm still a smart man. You dig? Like, you project that shit on any type of camera or any type of shit. You get your shit caught up if anything ends up coming from them to type of situations and shit like that. Like, this is all tricky. But when he said that shit about, Cam, about the coach and Cam took offense to it, I was like, man, I don't really, in my mind, I was like, I didn't really understand the correlation of why he would take so much offense because he didn't say the diplomats where he said if some said Koch is a cemetery label, whatever, and shit like that. I was like, we could have probably flipped that so many ways, and, and, and but it was just the way Cam was feeling, and any way Cam was feeling at that time, I was ready to do it. And then um, people were confused when they was like, oh, when they see me end up doing some shit with 50 a little bit after that shit and shit like that, and um. I more or less was like trying to figure out how to put that shit together so we could make a super bag. You dig? Like I was just trying to figure it out. Like yo, I'm like at that time it wasn't making no sense. Ain't nobody getting killed. Ain't nobody getting shot. We beefing over imaginary players. You heard? Like I was like, so I think different. Like I'm pulling up on them. Like you, you dig? Like and got a couple chances to talk to him, but just. You know, nothing really didn't, and it never really happened. Shit, but that was on my mind and shit like that. I know G Unit and Dipset at the time was some of the hottest going on. And I was like, for the life of me, if we could figure out how to do some shit, this shit would be so crazy and shit like that. And that was one of the reasons why I was like, all right, I'm going to pull up on the boy and shit like that. But you know, the media always paints it to what it's supposed to be. And I'm not the type of person that's going to sit here and explain myself to nobody. You heard? I ain't waste my time explaining and, and, you. And that, and that's, you and don't put no problem. money once in again, my f pocket. Once again, G. Punk. That you once heard? again. Don't don't put no money in my f pocket. What I look like taking time out of my day. Time costs. You heard? Literally, this one is this costs fifty right here. That's a lot of that's that cost. I look like taking time out of my day of this fifty pack to explain to you some because you need to know about some about me. You talking to me or you talking to Jeff? Well, I only got three words for you, really, but I'm trying to be bigger than that. You heard? You talking about me or the general? No, 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 not you. I'm just talking about the uh, general. Uh, wait, but why are you looking at me with it, all that? It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. We got Jim Jones on Queen's Flip Flip the Script podcast. And, you know, he talks about Cam Ron's beef with 50 Cent. You know, I'm just on reiterate for you, Elgin's a little bit. You know, back in, like, the early 2000s, mid-early 2000s, you know, uh, the diplomats were signed to Koch Records at the time and 50 Cent went on the radio and said, you know, Koch is a graveyard. It's basically a record label where older artists go to die out. And you know what I'm saying? Cameron, he took offense to it because, you know what I'm saying? That's where him and his artists were at the time. And he felt like he was basically talking about Dipset because, you know what I'm saying? 
they're signed to Koch, but at the same time, 50s artist Prodigy at the time was signed to Koch as well. So, you know, that was Cam's argument. Like, how are you going to call Koch a graveyard when you got your own artist signed to Koch? And I can also see Jim Jones' perspective where he's like, he said, Koch, you ain't say Dipset. He ain't, he ain't say nothing about the diplomats. You know what I'm saying? And this is back when Ballin was out. Jimmy was on fire. Cam Cam was quiet at the time. Like, Cam wasn't putting out music. And, of course, you know, Jewels wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> Big surprise there. But, yeah, you know, uh, it was a time around where Cam was silent for a couple of years. I don't know if he's done with his issues with IBS and mainly his mother being sick. You know, that's what he said. He took a step back because his mom was sick. And, you know, 50 Cent basically, you know, what I felt like was his chest move where it looked like there was a little rift between uh, Cam and Jimmy. So it looked like 50 was talking crazy about Cam, but bigging up Jimmy and Jewels. And then he had that show where he brought up Jimmy and Jewels. And, you know, it just looked like 50 was, uh, you know, being friends with Jim Jones and Joel Santana and a while dissing Cam. And, you know, it just made it look crazy. It looked like the diplomats broke up. You know, it just looked like you could easily tell that, you know what I'm saying, the three weren't together no more at the time. So, you know, um, and then for Jim to say he's not explaining himself, I mean, we kind of know why he's saying that. Like, it's, it's easy to tell if you know what I mean. So, you know, hopefully one day we get an actual diplomat project. I doubt it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's never going to happen. We've been teased with a lot of reunion tours, but hopefully one day the three can come together and make music and actually gets put out. You know what I mean? So if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.